Good afternoon. This is me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of November 2010, and my subject is called the Haslingdon Initiative. Haslingdon is a very old town. It's about the third highest town in England. It's situated 35 miles or some 45 kilometres due north of Manchester at the end of the M66 motorway. So it's very easy and convenient to reach. And at the other side is the M65 motorway going across from um, Preston across towards Burnley. So we're quite well served with motorways. I moved here in 2004 when properties were still reasonable. In fact, I moved here partly because I like to live in the hills because you get away from the traffic fumes in the hills. And also, it was the last one of the last places in England I could afford a house because we were all caught up in the rat race to buy and sell property, thinking we were all going to make a fortune. Well, this disease has affected the world and it's almost destroyed uh, the American economy. Half the houses over there seem to be repossessed. It's the same in Spain. I believe in Spain there's nearly a million properties unsold. Ireland had similar problems. So we've learned our lesson and our young people can no longer dream of buying a house because unless they're both earning big salaries, they've no hope. So uh, the other problem is that we allowed... Tesco's to build two huge supermarkets within a mile of each other on the edges of Haslingdon. Now the problem with Tesco's is very efficient business, very efficient. The problem is that they're in business to make money. So they prefer you to drive there because if you drive there you can come away with far more than you would otherwise do. If you walked it, you'd only carry a couple of carry bags. So they tend to attract the motorist. And of course, once you start to attract people away from a town, those people don't go to the local shops anymore, particularly the little grocery shops, because Tesco's can uh, undercut them. Anyway, be that as it may, a lot of shops have closed down and are not reopening. A lot of houses are for sale. Every street's full of for sale signs. The only people around here making money are the ones making the for sale signs. And hardly anybody's buying at the moment because they can't get the money. The bank's not lending. So, what am I going to suggest in this Haslingdon initiative? Well, Part of the problem here, a little part of the problem, is that the county council won't adopt the alleyways. This town largely consists of stone-built terrace cottages, row after row after row, street after street after street, with alleyways in between them, at the back. But they won't adopt those alleyways, the county council. So they won't resurface them, and the local council won't sweep or clean them. So they are a shambolic mess, dreadful looking mess, full of weeds, rubbish, bins, broken bins, you name it, potholes, everything. And the pavements, they're also in a bad state. My street is full of potholes. The local council can't tell me when it was last resurfaced. They say they haven't got records going back that far, so you can guess how, how long ago it was. Now, what's my initiative? Well, I'm going to suggest that since the uh, alleyways are unadopted and the pavements have not been uh, resurfaced for a long, long time, that local people do it themselves. The government encourages, encourages people to get on their bike and look for work. Well, I'm going to encourage the people of Haslingdon to spend a little and to make our town beautiful. Because it is quite an attractive town. And um, what I'm going to suggest is this. That we get a quote, or several quotes, from companies that uh, can asphalt 
roads, pavements and alleyways and ask them as a gesture of goodwill to do a little stretch for us in an alley so that we can show other people and put it in the paper and show the government and the council and if necessary shame them what we can do and hopefully people from round about will feel a little happier they'll be more house proud the quality of life will improve we might be able to make jobs for people if they could, we can find people to do the work but um, we need examples so I'm going to send this video clip to various companies round about and see what, we, what they suggest uh, and then I'm going to come round to each individual street and the occupiers of those streets and suggest that we do this depending on the cost. If it's ridiculous then of course they probably throw sticks at me and stones. So for the moment um, that's the situation. I will be writing, uh, sending a copy of this to all the councillors, the newspapers and uh, the parish priests and so on, notable citizens with this initiative in the very short future. For the moment it's goodbye while it's still legal in the UK, I will say God bless and cheerio for now. Keep your fingers crossed and keep looking and watching my video channel. Thank you and bye bye.